many users already have trusted accounts with popular IDPs like Google and GitHub, or with an IDP they are already using in the workplace, such as Entra ID, which supports single sign-on authentication. Allowing users to use these accounts for signing into your application means they don't need to create new usernames and passwords. And this significantly enhances their convenience and the likelihood that they will engage with your product. You can use Zitadel as a central hub or the identity broker in the interaction between your application and various external IDPs. Zitadel can act as a federated identity provider integrating IDPs through authentication protocols like OpenID Connect and SAML. Today, let's see how we can integrate Zitadel with Entra ID using SAML. First of all, you need to have access to an Entra ID tenant. To configure an Entra ID tenant, you need an Azure account because Entra ID is a component of Microsoft's identity services and relies on Azure's infrastructure for management and configuration. Go to portal.azure.com and uh, you need to make sure that you're logged in with your Azure account. I'm logged in here and from the Azure portal menu, click on more services and select Microsoft Entra ID. In the overview section, go to manage tenants and click create. Select the tenant type as Azure AD B2C and click Next. Provide an organization name Right, um, so the resource group cannot be empty. Um, let's create a new resource and provide that. Next, review and create. And we can click the Create button. Now the Intra ID tenant has been created. And that's where you will register and manage your apps, configure the access to data in Microsoft 365, and other web APIs and enable features like conditional access. All right, so after you created the tenant, you can browse to portal.azure.com again. And you will see that when you have created the tenant, when you check the upper right corner, you see the tenant name directly under your account name. As the first user, you're automatically assigned the global administrator role. Let's go to Microsoft Entra ID again. And over here, let's click the Add button. Select Enterprise Application. So we are trying to add an enterprise application. And in here, you need to search for SAML Toolkit. Select Microsoft Entra SAML Toolkit. Um, this is the name we got. You can change it if you need. And click on the Create button. Okay, so the application Microsoft Entra SAML Toolkit has been added successfully. Now to allow all users to sign in via Zitadel, we need to manually disable required assignment. So for that, go to Properties under Manage. For assignment required, select No. And hit Save. So now let's get started with setting up SAML for our application. Navigate to the Manage section and click on Single Sign-On. Um, from the options available here, choose SAML, which will take us to the Single Sign-On Details page. Here you will find various configuration settings. Go to SAML Certificates and copy the App Federation metadata URL that you can find here. So you will need this URL to integrate this application with your service providers. 
in our case, it's Zitadel. Now let's go and configure Zitadel as a SAML service provider talking to Entra ID as a SAML identity provider. Go to your Zitadel instance. Choose the account you must use to log into your Zitadel instance. And there you have it. So you are in this test org organization. Um, there can be multiple organizations in your Zitadel instance. So we have chosen this particular organization. You can um, go to the settings page of the entire instance by going to default settings and configuring Entra ID as an identity provider. Or else you can go to the settings page of this particular organization in order to configure Entra ID as an external identity provider just for this organization. So an organization in Zitadel is just like a tenant. Um, so now we can uh, go to this identity provider section and here you will see that uh, this is where you will be configuring your external identity providers and in this table you can see all the providers you have configured which is none at the moment and you will see all provider templates listed here so if you want to add a provider you must select one of these templates and we need to select the SAML SP provider template. You can add a name for your SAML provider here. Let's add Microsoft Entra ID. Here you can add your metadata XML, which has to be base64 encoded, or else you can simply paste the URL to your metadata XML. So let's paste the previously copied URL and for the binding you need to select SAML binding post and you need to keep this tick box checked and let's take a look at the optional configurations you can change these options if you need Microsoft Entra works out of the box using these pre-configured options so you can keep the name ID format as it is and with automatic creation, if this setting is enabled, the user will be created automatically within Zitadel if it doesn't exist. If automatic update is enabled, the user will be updated within Zitadel if some user data is changed within Entra ID. For example, if the last name changes in the Microsoft account, the information will be changed in the Zitadel account on the next login. With account creation allowed, the setting determines if account creation within Zitadel is allowed or not. And account linking allowed determines if account linking can be done. Uh, for example, when logging in with a Microsoft account, a linkable Zitadel account has to exist already. And uh, you need to have either account creation or account linking enabled. Otherwise, the provider can't be used. So click Create. Now here you can see the Zitadel metadata and other URLs that you will need to configure your SAML identity provider. So Zitadel here is the SAML service provider and you get all the service provider URLs over here. So we need to go to Entra ID next and add these details to our SAML application. So let's go to Microsoft Entra and go to single sign on. Yeah, we are already there. And go to basic SAML configuration. Click edit. So for the identifier, just add the Zitadel metadata URL. So we copied that, now we just need to paste it here. So for the reply URL, you need to add the ACS login form URL. So copy that and add it here. For the sign on URL, 
yeah you need to paste the zitadel acs login form url again and optionally you can add the single logout url from zitadel to this field Yeah, so you can ignore the Zitadel ACS intent API URL for now uh, because this is relevant if you want to programmatically sign in users at Zitadel via a SAML service provider. All right, so let's click Save. Right, that's done now. And we can close this. Okay, so we have set up our SAML IDP. Now let's go back to the Zitadel console. And we also have to activate the IDP that we just created by clicking the activate button. Right, so the identity provider has been activated. We can close this and if you go to the identity providers table that you can now see that Microsoft Entra ID has been listed as an external identity provider. I'm going to show you how you can configure this for the entire Zitadel instance so that regardless of the organization the end user belongs they will see an option to sign in with Entra ID. So first you need to go to default settings. So this is the settings page for the instance. And the first thing you see is a list of organizations or tenants that belong to this instance. So the organization for which we configured the external IDP was test org. And now what we're going to do is set up Microsoft Entra ID so that all the users belonging to all of these organizations will see an option to log in with Microsoft Entra ID. Right, so let's go to identity providers and it's pretty much same steps as earlier. Let's provide a name. We are going to use the same SAML application. So go to SAML certificates and copy the URL, add it to metadata URL. The binding has to be from a binding post. Yeah, you can keep the default configuration for the optional settings and click create. And here you will see the uh, configuration details you need to configure Entra ID. So I'm going to edit what's already in our SAML application in Entra ID. So let's copy this and go to basic SAML configuration and click edit. So this has to change. ACS URL, it's the same. So we don't have to change that. Uh, we have to add the logout URL because that is different. All right, click save. Right, so we have updated our SAML application in Entra ID. So let's go back to console and activate the IDP. And click save. So we have our Microsoft Entra ID at the instance level now activated. Um, also make sure that under login behavior and security, the external login allowed checkbox is checked because that comes in the login form. And if this checkbox is not checked, then you will not see that option to log in using an external IDP. Let's go back to the Microsoft Entra configuration. Um, so let's just see what we need to do next in order to test our login flow. But first, users will need to be added to users and groups before they can sign in. So let's go to users and groups. So we need to add a user. Click add user slash group. 
we can select a user to be added to this application. So click on non-selected. We have that single user we used to sign in to enter ID. So let's select that user and click assign. So we have approached our final step, which is to test the login form of Zitadel and see if we now have the option to sign in with Microsoft Enter ID. Right, so let's go back to the Zitadel console. Um, let's copy the custom domain of our instance. So let's copy that to clipboard and let's open a new incognito window. Right, so let's paste the domain here and add UI slash console, enter. So this is the login form powered by Zitadel. You can log in using the email address you registered with Zitadel, or you can log in as an external user. So let's click on the Microsoft Entra ID button. And there you go. You sign in using the email address of the user that's already in Microsoft Entra ID. Click Next. And let's just enter the password. I'm going to say no. Right, so Zitadel is complaining that this external user is not found in Zitadel. So we have the option of linking an external account to an account that is existing already or register this user as a user in Zitadel. Okay, so let's add the details. And we need to provide a username. And you might wonder what this is. So let's go back to the Zitadel console. And let's go to organizations. So we are under default settings, and that means these are the instance settings. So go to organizations, and you can see that Yoyo is the default organization and the primary domain is yoyo.zitadel.cloud. So that is what you saw as the, the suffix here. Let's add a username for this user. And accept the terms and conditions. And we can say register because we do not have an existing account for this user in Zitadel. Because if you go back to Zitadel and if you go to the YoYo organization and go to users, you will see that there is no user gene in this organization. So what we're going to do is register that user as a new user. So let's go back to the form here and I'm going to click register. We can set up two-factor authentication for Jane Doe, but we can skip it for now. All right, so there is an email sent to the email address. Yeah, so I need to go and check my email. So I have a code here. Let me copy that and paste it here and click Next. The email address has been successfully verified, so click Next. Now see that the user lands on their profile page when they try to access the Zitadel console. Usually a Zitadel admin has access to the full console and a regular user, if they try to access the console, will only see this much, mostly their profile information. There's one more thing we can streamline for the end user. Remember the form users had to fill out with their details during the login with Entra? Well, that might feel a little bit redundant for those already registered with Entra ID. To simplify this, we can autofill this form by setting up an action in Zitadel. This action will map and pre-fill the user details directly from their Entra ID data. So before we proceed to the Actions tab, I want to mention that the user that logged in earlier through Entra ID was deleted so that we can set up everything from scratch using the same user details. So let's go to the Actions tab. Here, click the New button. You can actually use a predefined action from the Zitadel Actions repository. So let's go to the Actions repository. I will share the URL of this script uh, in the details below. So let's copy this 
script and go to the console. You have to make sure to name the action exactly as the script's function name in the repository. So that is this one. Um, copy that and add it as the name. Um, there is one more thing you need to do here. So to make sure that this action is correctly linked, you will also need to include the ID of the identity provider. Let's open a new tab. Go to default settings where the IDP was set up. Click identity providers and select the Microsoft Entra ID provider that we registered earlier. So when you click that, you get the ID of the provider here. So let's copy that and go to the previous screen. And here you will see a placeholder for the SAML IDP's ID. So let's add that there. And you can click Add. So the action has been added. And this action should be triggered during an external authentication. So you need to select the flow type as external authentication. And it should be triggered specifically with the Entra ID provider we've set up earlier. So to ensure this action is correctly linked, you will also need to include its ID, which is what we did earlier. And set it to trigger on the post authentication event. So we need to add a trigger and select trigger type as post authentication. And we need to select the action that we created earlier. And click Save. All right, so now that we have completed creating our action, all that's left to do is test the login. So open a new incognito window and go to the console. You'll be prompted to log in, and we are going to select login with Microsoft Entra ID. OK, so as you can see, most of the details, if they are filled in Entra ID, then this form will be pre-filled with that data. Um, so I haven't provided a phone number or uh, a language preference. So we can add those here or just leave it as it is. Let's just add a language here, accept the terms and conditions, and click Register, skip this, and you'll see that the user was created in Zitadel as well. So with that, we conclude this tutorial on how you can add Microsoft Entra ID as an external IDP to your Zitadel instance or organization using SAML. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.